Hey what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Darkfall video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the monthly update for the Patreon subscribers which is the Particle Pro add-on. So if you watched the previous video we actually made some particles follow a path and this add-on will just do all the work for us. Let's go ahead and take a look. We can see that the particles are emitted here and they're following this path that I've already created. So I'm just going to open up a new project, go to file, go to new and go ahead and get rid of the default cube, we don't need it. So once you've downloaded the script, you need to go to edit, go down to preferences, then within the add-on section, we have this install button here, let's go ahead and click this, then navigate to the folder where you saved the script to, and load that in, then we can go ahead and enable it, and then close this down. We only need to do that once, and once we've done that, we can press N, then go down to Particle Pro, and then we have this one option. <laughs> I will be adding some more options to this in the future. If you guys have any suggestions on things you want to see, go ahead and let us know in the comments. So go ahead and select this button and it will bring up an operator. We have some options we can set, for example, the particle count. So if you want a burst of particles to come all at once, then you want to lower this number. Or if you want a stream of particles, then again, leave this quite long. And then we have the lifetime and the lifetime random. So the lifetime is how long you want the particles to be on the screen. So Let's set this to 250 frames. And the random, you can increase this if you want, but I'm going to leave this at zero. Now for the gravity, I pretty much always have this off because gravity will pull the particles down and it will have an effect on how it looks. So go ahead and enable or disable this if you want. Then for the movement speed, this will be how fast the particles will move A to B. And we can see that the number is in negative, which is fine. It just means that it's going to be a lot faster. Uh, the closer we get to zero, the slower it will be. And if we go into positive numbers, it will push the particles in the opposite direction. So I'm going to change this back to minus 33. And finally, for the particle flow, we can see here at zero, the particles will not try and follow the path, whereas at 10, the particles will stick to the path. So again, play around with this value if you want. Go ahead and click OK. So let's go ahead and press play, see what it looks like. And there we go. So now we have this stream of particles. And again, if you don't like it, go ahead and delete them and add a new one. Let's say we want the end frame to be around 18. Lifetime, yeah, that should be fine. So we jump back to the first frame and press play. So now we can see we have this one group of particles. Uh, again, that's if you want, <laughs> it's entirely up to you. And for the path, jump into edit mode. We can see we have these points and you can move these around at any time. So I'm just going to jump to the top view, move this and move this. And now we have like a bendy curve. Uh, let's add some more. I'm going to jump into edit mode, grab this end point here. Then I'm just going to press E to extrude and just keep pressing it and kind of make this curve like so. And then if we jump back to the first frame, press play, these should now follow this curve. So yeah, it's quite basic and I will be adding to this add-on in the future. Again, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Uh, right now, this is only available for Patreon subscribers. So if you want to check it out, there is a link in the description. And this is part of the monthly asset benefit. So hopefully this will save you guys some time creating this kind of effect. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.